This video shows what to do if your HP printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded and an out of paper error message displays on the printer's control panel or on your computer. Sometimes the problem can be resolved by resetting the printer. First, make sure the printer is turned on. If it is off, press the power button to turn on the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn on the printer. Slide out the input tray. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the Settings button. This button looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. And then touch Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Often the condition of the paper you are using can cause paper not to feed correctly. Slide out the input tray. Remove paper from the input tray. Check for obstructions inside the paper tray. Use a flashlight to view the mechanism inside the tray to make sure nothing is blocking the paper from engaging with the rollers. If any obstructions are found in the paper path, skip to the next step. Examine the condition of the paper you removed from the paper tray. Remove any damaged paper. Make sure there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, and then align the stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the Settings button. This button looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. And then touch Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. The printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, you will clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth. Clean cotton swabs. Clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Slide out the input tray and remove the paper. Slide in the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Return to the front. Open the cartridge access door. To do this, locate the cutouts on the sides of the printer. Use the cutouts to lift the cartridge access door. Locate the paper path cover near the back of the printer. Pinch the two tabs on the cover together and lift to remove the cover from the printer. Set it aside. 
Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth, lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller, and use your finger to turn the roller toward the front of the printer as you finish cleaning a section. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Wait for the rollers to dry completely. Locate the cutout in the duplexer cover. Use this cutout to raise the duplexer cover. Look for the paper pick roller under the duplexer path cover. Moisten a cotton swab with water. Blot the swab on the cloth to remove excess water. The swab should be damp, but not soaking wet. While holding the duplexer cover open, clean the roller with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. Use your finger to turn the roller toward the front of the printer as you finish cleaning a section. This roller is difficult to reach, but is the most important to clean. If this roller inside the printer is not cleaned, this problem will continue because this is the roller that feeds the paper into the printer. Allow the roller to dry completely. Lower the duplexer path cover. Once the rollers are dry, reinsert the paper path cover and gently press down until it snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Slide out the input tray. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, touch the Settings button. This button looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. And then touch Printer Status Report. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, Attempt to print the original document again. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If this test page prints, but the original document does not, continue to the next solution. If the page does not print, try printing it again. Listen for the paper pick rollers. You should be able to hear them rotating. Then, try slowly pushing the paper farther into the printer until the rollers engage to pick up the paper. Only push one sheet of paper and do not push it in too quickly or too far, as this can cause paper jams. If the page does not print when slowly pushing the paper farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the paper pick rollers. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, go on to the next step. If the page prints when slowly pushing the paper farther in, try printing your original document again. The paper might not have been loaded far enough into the printer. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the paper only feeds through the printer when you push it farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the paper pick rollers. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, go on to the next step. Next, you will make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. The printer must be on for this step to work. On your computer, return to the document you were trying to print when the issue occurred. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to open the Printing Properties window. Click Printer Properties. When the Printer Properties box opens, click the Layout tab. Click Advanced. Select the Paper Size drop-down menu and then choose the appropriate paper size. Click OK. Click the Paper Quality tab. Select the Media drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper type. Click OK and then click Print to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in. 
Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp printer support.